Foundry for Tech Primers. Today we are going to see a quick introduction about Cloud Foundry. So what is Cloud Foundry? So I'm not sure if you have heard about Cloud Foundry, but I had been uh, aggressively working on Cloud Foundry at work. So we use an implementation of Cloud Foundry. So we deploy all our applications into the Cloud Foundry for the production usage. So if you're not aware, Cloud Foundry is an open source platform as a service offering which is provided by Pivotal. So Pivotal is the company which is maintaining the Cloud Foundry. So Cloud Foundry is an open source platform as a service offering provided by Pivotal. So what is what does this platform as a service mean? So as you are aware, in a traditional IT infrastructure, so what do we do? So we create an application. The application has data. It has uh, it runs on the runtime environment. It has a middleware system. It has an operating system. It has virtualization. It has servers. So it has storage and networking. So all these all these constitute the traditional um, IT infrastructure service. However, if you see the cloud, how we are transforming our uh, traditional IT application into a cloud-based service. So there are different concepts called as infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. So what do they literally mean? right so infrastructure as a service mean that the operating system virtualization servers storage and networking will be provided as a service basically you don't have to worry about those stuff so we don't have to worry about these stuff because the particular software which is going to give the infrastructure as a service offering is going to take care of that a uh, typical example of uh, infrastructure as a service would be amazon aws which you guys might be familiar by now so Amazon AWS is not a platform as a service, but it is an infrastructure as a service. So it is going to give the OS, it is going to give the virtualization, it's going to give the servers, storage and networking stuff. So based on that, we have to create our application, provide the data for it, runtime and the middleware. So that we have to manage. So if you see here infrastructure as a service, we are going to manage these blue parts. The others are all provided by the service in itself. What Cloud Foundry does is this part, the platform as a service. So Cloud Foundry provides the runtime and the middleware along with the operating system, virtualizations, servers, storage and networking. So it's going to help you in managing the deployment which is out there. So you don't have to worry about the deployment management. So you just have to create your application and deploy it. That's it. And then forget it. So that is what Cloud Foundry is giving. Software as a service is completely everything. So you, for example, uh, Google Docs that is a software as a service um, software as a service so you don't have to install the word you don't have to install anything you don't have you don't need the hardware you don't need the software you don't need the virtualization you don't need the storage everything is out there in the cloud so that is the software as a service so to reiterate is infrastructure as a service provides these as an offering by default so amazon aws is an example of that platform as a service is including the runtime and the middleware it provides the these as well so Cloud Foundry is a typical example. So Amazon ha also has something called Amazon Beanstalk. That is the replacement for Cloud Foundry. So that is the platform as a service offering. Uh, I'm not sure if many, many of them are aware of that. So Amazon Beanstalk is the platform as a service offering by Amazon. So software as a service is, as I said, Google Docs is a typical example. You don't have to worry about even the application. So you get it on the cloud. You just log into a website and you have everything out there. So that is the typical cloud concept and what Cloud Foundry is. Um, at a high level, if you see, if you see, this is what the platform as a service offering does. So you have you maintain the organizational roles in your organization. You have different party management. You have reporting. You have modeling. You have the process engines and everything is all in, there in the platform as a service. The infrastructure as a service has the servers and stuff like that. So this is like the AWS and imagine this is like the Cloud Foundry. So you can plug anything inside Cloud Foundry. You can plug AWS, you can plug Azure, or you can plug a OpenStack, anything anything inside Cloud Foundry. So that is, that is what Cloud Foundry does. Um, if you see Cloud Foundry, since Cloud Foundry is an open source uh, platform, so Pivotal has a implementation of a Cloud Foundry and that is called Pivotal Cloud Foundry. Uh, SAP has the implementation and they call it SAP HANA Cloud Foundry, SAP HANA Cloud Foundry plat Cloud Platform. Uh, IBM has its implementation called IBM Bluemix. So same way there are few other implementations of the Cloud Foundry because this is open source. So everyone has their own implementation of the Cloud Foundry. So that's it for the um, high level overview of the Cloud Foundry. 
meet you guys in another video thank you